Hello everybody, this is YDYT, and I would like to welcome you all to a brand new redstone tutorial on my channel. This is going to be for a four block vertical slime block elevator. I'm going to quickly show you what we mean by that. So as you can see, we've got a flat platform with a simple flick of the lever, the floor easily goes down and comes back up. This is similar to a design by Cubfan for three blocks. However, the fourth block is a lot more complicated and I'm very pleased with how compact and simple I made the design. Obviously, for the controls, you may want to have another input down here at the bottom to get back up nice and easily. As you can see back here, the redstone is quite simple, and we're going to get into a tutorial right now for that. We're going to begin by preparing the area we want to have it. It can be in the corner of a room, or it could be in the side, however a corner seems to be much easier for the redstone. So we're going to begin by getting the area prepared. So we're going to cut out the corner that we want, and we're going to come down by three note blocks, or whatever unmovable block you want. They have to be unmovable because otherwise the slime blocks will try to move that, and we don't want that. Then we're going to quickly mark one, two, three blocks, and on that third block we're going to place four sticky pistons. These are going to be our pistons that push everything upwards. On top of those we're going to get four slime blocks, and then four of our choice of block. We're going to do the wiring for each piston individually. For our first piston at the bottom, we're going to take a repeater on four ticks, some dust, and another repeater. Between this repeater we're going to put a block, another block like this, and we're going to pull a redstone signal round like so. For our second piston we're going to pull this signal up into a repeater like this, and then pull the signal back around like so. We're then going to get a piston here on two ticks, a piston here on one tick, and a piston here on three ticks before filling in the rest with redstone dust. For our third piston we're going to take a redstone signal up and around like so. However, we want to make sure there is a block here to make sure these pieces of dust do not connect. To connect this all to our final piston, we're going to take dust and a repeater like so, a block here, a block here, and fill all of this in, getting a, a repeater here on three ticks and dust in all the other slots. Back on the other side, we're going to want to staircase up some dust over four blocks like so. On the fifth block, we're going to want to get a repeater on two ticks, before bringing dust down onto the final two blocks. As you can see now, if we flick the lever here, we get a full successful extension and a full successful restriction. It would be recommended to remove these four blocks so you can get easily in and out. To attach this up to a lever in that location, we can very simply just pull a staircase of redstone like this and staircase that down very easily. As you can see, that works very nicely. The input, however, is up to you. So I just recommend sticking with this as your input block and then modifying as needed. There we go, that's a super simple tutorial. If you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.